He doesn't. He has to get lucky with the angle, and it's not going to happen, although he does get a, very close to hitting the shot there on Kyarbi. Just fully commits to taking his step out into the open device. Seeing the beauty through the Salve rapaziada, Flash aqui. E aqui é o Doug. Pega a visão, rapaziada. Tamo aqui no Rubet pra dar uma postada bem nice. E rapaziada, se vocês quiserem dar uma postada bem nice também, mano, vai ter o um link na descrição aí no topo, tio. Só clicar aí, só ganhar um beat e você pode duplicar esses beats apostando, entendeu? No Crash, maluco. E rapaziada, a taxa no Rubet é zero, mano. Você depositar na taxa é zero, tá ligado? Então você pode depositar aí e apostar se você quiser, mano. E pra você tirar suas skins aí é instantâneo, mano. Você retira na hora, tá ligado? Você não precisa ficar esperando nada aí. Pode tirar sua skin na hora e já tá usando ela, demorou? Então se vocês ficou interessado, clica no link aí que vai estar no topo do, da descrição. <risos> na descrição e é isso, mano. Bora postar que eu tô louco, tio. Mano, eu vou meter o louco já, John. É, joga 50 mil. Ó, tipo, logo... é, 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 <risos> oh, mano, rapaziada, se vocês não tiver tanto dinheiro que a gente tem no site aqui, ó, mano, não mete o louco, tio. Vai meter o louco que nem é louco. Mano, vocês vão ganhar um bet. Joga um bet aí e deixa... Tirar no 10, mano. Galera, antes de começar a postar, vou fazer um marketing aqui. Segue o Doug no Twitter e Instagram. Arroba Leoflash, arroba Doug R -R -R. E é isso aí, bora postar, pô. Ó, oh, rapaziada, não vai esperar passar essa rodada aí. O Flash vai postar. Posta 5 mil, tio. Sem maldade. 5 mil, Mano, 5 mil, tio. 1.70, vai. Vou mostrar vai. um negócio pra vocês, rapaziada. Caso vocês apostem 5 mil no número, por exemplo, alto, dá pra você tirar antes, tá ligado? É. Vou mostrar tipo, pra vocês, você... deixa eu acabar aqui. Se você... Tipo, tiver sentindo que o bagulho não vai crachar na onde você mandou, mano, tira antes, tio. Eu acho que vai dar muito ruim agora postar alto, mano. É, postamos. Ah, velho. Tá dando bet. Mano, vamos tirar no 1.30. A gente vai. postou dois aqui, mas dá pra tirar antes, ó, rapaziada. 1.30, vamos bem safe. Aí, tiramos o safe, mano. Boa. Eu não sei se a gente duplicou, porque eu não sou ruim de matemática. Eu mandei a escola pra virar youtuber, é, mano. Ó, ó. Nós apostou 3 mil, nós ganhamos 11, mano. Tá suave. Ó, postei mais 5 mil no 2. Agora eu vou deixar tipo 1.30 de novo. Vou ver. 1.30 bem safe, mano. Ah, dá, hein. Boa. Nós postou 5 e ganhou 22, tio. Não, nós ganhou 2.280, quer dizer. A cara é sempre você pôr no 1.30, que é bem safe, mano. É, joga safe, mano. Não precisa, tipo, alastrar. Jogar tudo, tá ligado? É, tipo, não precisa jogar que nem na próxima aqui, ó. Ó, oh, galera, vocês não podem fazer isso aqui que eu vou fazer agora. 25 mil no 2, mano. Isso aqui não existe, velho. Quer ver, ó? As chances da merda disso aqui mano, é grande, ruim, mano. Tipo, vai dar ruim. Não vai, vai, tio, porque eu sou foda, parça. Oh, não vai. Vai dar ruim, mano. Fia, eu sou o Rio Abo, ali o Flash. Me segue no Twitter. Aí, ó. <risos> <risos> Aí, ó. 44 choque, mil, né? Jona. Tá recuperando, primo. Aí, rapaziada, lucramos de volta em 44 mil. Mais 25 mil, mano. Onde você quer que tira, Doug? Tirando 1 em 70, mano. 1,70, você vai foder nós, mano. Mandar. Não, em 70. Você vai foder mano. nós, tio. Você vai foder relaxa. nós, mano. Não vou, não vou, relaxa. Vai. Não vou, parça. Vamos bem safe, safe bem safe, aqui, mano. Bem safe, caralho. Ah, 63 mil bits, caralho. Oh. Tio. É isso, primo. Aí, rapaziada, vou meter o louco aqui, ó. 40 mil. Vamos ver que se vai dar mano, bom ou não. 1,50, irmão. É, mano. É... <risos> O que, que eu falei? Mano, isso aqui... Que que eu falei? Mano, isso aqui foi um exemplo de passar fome, velho. Não, não aposta tudo não, que mano. Que se você não tem, mano. Então, rapaziada, é. bora pra roletinha bem nice, mano. Meu modo preferido do Doug também. Eu acho que vai cair vermelho agora, hein, mano. Tá. Ah. Porque é a lei da reversa, né? Como diz o galês, mano. Não, acho que vai dar uma trem, mano. Tenta, tenta... Ah, vai dar trem, mano. Não dá mais, tio. Ah, postei os dois. Boa, ah, postei os dois, mano. Ai, Nossa, é Deus. nosso. Se nós ganhar, nós ganha, mano. Não tem essa. <risos> se nós perder, nós não perde, porque nós ganha. amarelo, tá ligado? Ah, esse aqui é amarelo. Não, não. Isso não existe. Isso aqui não existe. Isso aqui não existe, não, mano. mano. Sem maldade, tio. Ah, não é Ó, o bagulho é você botar 5 mil nesse. E, e 100 no amarelo, rapaziada. Ó, se liga a cal do mestre. Recente, mano. Mano, qual que é a mano. chance, velho? Não qual vai é dar chance, dois amarelo, mano. mano. Joga mais no vermelho, tio. Nossa. Ixi, não tem jeito. Tem que cair Relaxa, vermelho, hein, parça. Vai dar... Ah, tem que cair vermelho. Se cair preto é o fim do mundo. Boa. Boa. Boa, nice. porra. Bem nice, galera. Nós Ó, confia na cal, primo. 18. Então, galera, vocês viram que o site é muito bom. Entra aí no link da descrição. O que você acha do desse site, mano? Bem nice, ah, né, velho? Achei da hora esse maldade. Vamos pensar, vamos pensar, rapaziada. Porque vocês ganham um beat lá, mano. Então dá pra vocês apostar da hora lá. E se vocês conseguirem uma graninha, dá pra vocês depositar e apostar mais ainda, mano. 
Então, Sim, velho. Clica no link na descrição. Mano, zero de taxa pra depositar, mano. A gente, você tira na hora o bagulho, é isso. Segue eu e o Dog no Twitter, no Instagram, rede social aí embaixo, mano. É, é isso, nice. velho. Bora pro vídeo, tá foda, tio. Ai! The key for me is, like, just watch where they rotate for, because when they have a good read on that CT side, they'll have him over in the other side when it's gonna be an attack there. So stay in your chairs. <laughs> All right, well, we will see if the streak is going to end. We'll throw you back over to Anders and Semler. From all the way back here, and on the other side, though, Glaive and Sipnix are holding strong. Yeah, changing it up. I mean, Astralis have also had a very, very scary retake on that CT side, knowing exactly how to fall back and trusting on their teammates basically to get the job done when it comes down to getting onto that bomb and defusing it. So, right now, SK Gaming, because they lose that first man over at Alley, they instead want to go towards the B site, which historically is easier to get the bomb plant on, but they have to charge forward and fall and taking point. He's trying to get up to Astralis and find a kill very quickly here. He is aggressive play coming out of the Brazilian captain. Can he make it work? The smokes is up as well. Glaive gonna pick up one. There's a good shot from Fallen. He takes down Sip. He needs to do more. FNX is there as well. Has fallen right afterwards, and now it's a two on three. The bomb is only just down. It hasn't ticked far enough. They need to stay alive here. The rest of SK and just keep it going. Great shot from Gold Zero. Dupree gets caught mid air. Now the defuse is in. Can they stop it? Oh, fallen. I think he could have kept that going, but now Glaive is going to get the kill. And I don't think Gold Zero can get there in time. He has to run for it, but Glaive is already on the defuse, and that's going to be the round. Astralis will pick it up. Is he? Because Zipnix is in connector, and he was actually worried. He was actually rotating a little bit back towards B, but that bomb has now been planted, so it's clear for Astralis now. But still, there was a moment where they didn't, weren't quite sure what was going on, it looked like. There's the one spray, Kierbu, can he refocus on Fallen? He's out there, and he's gonna catch him, and that's a full retake! Maybe this close to pistols. I mean, sure, rifles with the AKs, yeah, fair enough, but if they have Tech 9s and you're up this close, you can be dead in an instant. Yeah, the one advantage to being this close is that most pop flashes go deeper than this, so Glaive will have a lot, lot of time to turn around if they try and pop flash it, but it looks like they're going to make their way towards the B-bomb side. Device repositioning himself to try and get a clearer shot at anyone crossing over that bomb, but they're actually there on the sidewalk, flashing their way through. They line up for Sip, and he's going to be up two big kills there. Going for a third one, he's almost out of health. Backup is coming as well, and now just fallen left, and he was in the back line with no time left. Five seconds, he actually has to try and die before the time runs out here. We'll do that success so far when SK Gaming have lost a man early on. They've rotated over towards B with that bomb to see if they can't get the bomb plant. And it looks like they aren't going to waste any time this time. Taco just charges forward. He's going to get spotted by Zipnix out of the open, looking for that one tap headshot. But Zipnix is staying alive. And Zipnix just needs to stay alive because he hasn't spotted the bomb. That bomb is going to get planted now. And now the rotate should come through from his teammates. But his teammates weren't taking any risks by over rotating off the A site either. Definitely not. FNX is really far behind the rest of his team. That could be a huge win later on, but right now, they just need to defend this bomb. They're quite far back in the site, which I'm not always a fan of, but they're doing good damage at the moment. Taco very nearly out of the round. If they have any grenades, they could have taken him out already. Dupree will pick up the kill. Three versus four. SK need this. They need to hold on to it now. Two versus four. It can still be done. The smoke is down in front. They don't know Cold Zero is here. He's going to pick up the one kill. Wild Spray coming through. He can't survive. Going to end up going down. Solid choice. Taco is, in, to my mind, a really reliable player when it comes to this stuff, but not when he's been double-naded, my god. They, they see that smoke going down, that's the thing, Astralis. They're reacting to it, they held onto their nades, and when that smoke went down, they just started trucking him into A main, so Taco gets tagged down to 22. Now the rest of his teammates trying to push into the site, and Dupree gonna win the duel versus Taco, drops him. They do at least get a bomb plant down. Kirby again with the flank coming out of Ivy this time, all the way into main and easy killer. And Cold Sierra, he's gonna try and double up. He gets the one, but he can't get Cold Sierra. Turns around with the 180. That's a very important shot. Still a two on four. Can they finally get around here, SK? They're getting another kill. Glaive is down and out. Sip is coming in from Pop Dog, but. You're not in time, Device will already have gotten the kill. Cold Sierra now in a one on two. He gets the one headshot, but already with the defuse. Kavice gonna hold it in, and Cold Sierra, he gets the triple, but he can't. The first map, and it's a really good map for them on Overpass. And now they're not really getting any traction on this one. So eventually people will start to get frustrated. This is what I was waiting for. Now they're gonna try and go for the B site without losing a man first, right? They're just gonna go for it, fully commit, and they do actually get down onto the site. The only problem is they haven't cleared Zipnix out of upper halls. And so Zipnix could ruin their day here. Yep, easy shot, gonna get the follow-up as well. And man, that's so painful! Zipnix has been playing passive on the site, so you understand why SK are not checking up there. They're thinking he's gonna be way back over by Connector. But that one oversight just cost them massively. Two kills for free for Zipnix. This is why you need a timeout. This is why you need people to be thinking clearly and not just sort of, you know, Assuming. focusing yeah, too hard on everything. You just end up tunnel visioning and it doesn't work out. One versus four at the moment for making the noise, but regardless, he would have to take four duels here to try and win all of them. And 
30 seconds left, that's just not going to happen. It's not enough time. Device has got the angle on upper as well with the AWP, so as soon as he shows himself there, it's over. And he's been blocked in as well by Glaive holding Pop Dog. So there's one way out, and that's through Whitehalls. And while he's not interested in that, he's going to look forward to see if he can actually take this fight. There's the shoulder peak. Zipnix has spotted him. 14 seconds left, and at this point, Ferris is thinking, I have to go and die. I need that money. And Gabby's going to go blind. They are right now. All those smokes land behind them. They don't want to do, really do anything. So everything comes down now to the engagement between Kirby and Glaive. If they can take one kill, they can almost 100% take the other one. But if they lose the first frag here and make it a 3-4, that's not good. And there's Glaive. They almost line up. They're going to get the one now. Kirby, very isolated. He still sprays down. Two goes for third. Oh, my God. That's a quad kill. He's looking for the ace. Falling gonna miss the shot. We've got 23 seconds, and Sip gonna be there to help him out. Clean by device. At least the first kill, because he gets hit by the, he gets hit by the smoke grenade as well. He wasn't really. I mean, not that they needed it, but he wasn't doing much on overpass. He was at the bottom of the scoreboard. It was everybody else who was helping out. Now he's close to the top here. 11 kills on him and just one death, and make that 12. In fact, Dupree gonna be going down in return, but two versus four, and. SK, now they are starting to seem panicked and a little bit broken as a team. I feel like there's just not that uh, focus that we've been seeing from them in the past. A nice headshot from Cold Sierra. Two versus three, 22 seconds left. They're trying to move a little bit closer, but now they're running out of time. They just don't have time to play this game. They need to get up and get these kills. And Sip going to pick up one. Leaves Taco one versus three. And he has to either save the AWP or get himself killed in the next 10 seconds. It's gonna be, money is once again out of control. They just have way too much cash in the bank. So we'll see the 11th round is coming up here. They're trying to make it way down sidewalk. A little bit slow, in fact, creeping their way in, but they run into the vice. Glaive as well gonna be there in the corner and sit picking up one, two, then three. And then the follow up flash does slow them down a little bit. Now Sip, he hears them coming. Back up is being called for. Glaive is on the side as well. Great headshots again. Glaive trying to fall back. Falling going to catch him. This is what we need out of SK. There's the spray down. Fur will take care of you. And now Dupree and Device left. Two on four. Great power coming out of SK. They need much more of that. Now it's focus time. They have the one on three. Just the counter grenades are so powerful right now. And obviously that early kill from Device taking the tip off the spear and now it's actually a three on three in the flashes cold and fallen pick up achilles and fallen trying for that flicker uh -oh. almost taken out glaive but he doesn't get it and now that leaves fnx alone to clutch at 1v3 with a minute 14 left on the clock that's a good thing keep that in mind he has a lot of time to work with here but it doesn't matter device comes out of spawn. that's the key here and glaive has already rotated over as well three players soon to be on the site fallen does find the kill under pre harvest so that's going to create some space for sk but then zipnix through the smoke will get one spray and that opens it up for glaive to get the flank on taco this is all over the place zip with the drive by survives with one hp he's still here and then cold the force in nature we might actually have it work out for once sk gaming in the chaos they should succeed here Trying for it. Cold gonna get the AWP. Very aggressive setup. They gotta be careful they don't give him an opportunity there right there. And he catches Cold with a grenade in hand. Out timed. And Kirby will be going down and return. That's Fallen picking up that shot with the AK. They gotta have this round. SK. And they, they know it. All the pressure is on them right now. A lot of grenades coming in here, trying to maybe go up the high ground here. Glaive, he's still waiting for it. It's a four on four with FNXP quite low. The bomb going to get denied. Dupree, what a great boost coming out of Astralis here. Improvised just as the bomb is about to go down. That leaves it in a four on three. And now the bomb will finally be planted. But everybody's here. Good shot from Glaive. Going to be taking down FNX. Fur and Taco left. Two versus four, making the two on three. Spray comes through. Taco picks up one. They need this. Taco with a double kill. And Device not quite hitting the shot. He's going to take down Fur. And now Taco, can he close up what he started? He can. And his team the best chance possible to set it up. 12 to 3, and FNX gets annihilated immediately by Kirby. So the young star, he's still at it. And the push begins, no time wasted. Cold flashed. They need to find another kill here, Astralis, to give themselves some, some, self some space to work with, though. And Kirby's going to spot a second man over by Ali. Gets the drop on Fallen, but he can't hit the shot. Fallen is so isolated. He's going to be going down first. <laughs> They're all around him. He's getting surged at the moment. And Taco alone, one versus five. Just too much of an ask for him right here. He's going to get the one kill. He actually hits that mid-air shot, but the bomb is down, and they're all around him. They're not even afraid to peak they him right. Upper and Cold Zero is going to rotate back. Fur 
Thinking about going up Pop Dog, but he's going to fall back over to the A site, and they're going to stick to this SK Gaming. This is all on Taco now, and he, he managed to pick up the first kill already. Can't be instant trade from him. Gets the headshot to start things off, and Zipnix will catch the Rotators out as well. Somehow, Astralis are fighting back into this round. Yeah, they are. Two versus three, though. A little bit of uh, lack of health on SK, though. Cold Sierra and Fur both quite low at the moment, but no Bomb Plant. That's what they really need. Fur is creeping up even before the bomb is attempted. That's a big risk, and maybe it's going to actually work out. He's got the drop on device. who's trying to get that bomb plant down. Second kill of the round for Fur, and now that leaves Sip. And he Ready? Dropped. So aggressive from Astralis. Nothing to announce their presence. They're already out onto the A site nearly. SK, they've got a scramble. Need to get in here. Taco trying to get out of the smoke. He's going to be going down. Sipnix with the kill. Now the bomb plant happening, and Dupree. Can he stay alive in the corner? Is he going to flash his way through? He tries for it. He actually just swaps right into C Connector, so it doesn't even go and fight them. Three on three, and SK, they're pushed all the way back here. They need to get out in front and fight right now, otherwise too much time is going to run off this clock. They don't even realize the pre here. This position is genius. He's going to be taking Kirby down. That's Cold Sierra with the shot. Now they're trying for the defuse, and Dupree gets taken out. Can't do anything. Defusing opening in that case. I mean, SK setup is not so great for this, but a great start for Fallen. Gonna take out KRB before they even make it into the A yard. Now the push is coming through. The smokes are down. Fallen finding a second kill. They finally get the refrag on FNX, but Fallen alive in the corner, and he's really come alive in this game now. Just shows the barrel of the gun while the Fen Elfer and Cold Sierra pick up a kill each, and Device, nothing he could do with 10 seconds left. Four versus five at the moment, and we're now way below 50 seconds here. Everyone on SK's side just holding strong. Device, he continues. He's just looking for this fight everywhere he can, but he's just never finding it. Cold Zero will take him down eventually and finds a headshot on Glaive. And now Dupree and Sip are left. One versus five. This is this is a problem that's very hard to deal with if you're a star. You just maybe could have got that kill. Flashbang goes out here. Taco trying to buy time, but he can't. Kebu will be taking him down. Four versus three, a chance. Finally in the second half for Astralis to actually have an impact here. They're putting out the grenades, they're trying to force them back. They even have that man advantage. And the Molotov on just to try and force out Glaive, but there's no one there to catch him as he swings out from behind the train. Fur, FNX and Cold Sierra. This is going to be a near impossible retake, especially now that Fur is out of the round. Cold Sierra and FNX, maybe time to think about saving these guns. Yeah, they haven't overextended either, but it's still possible for FNX. It's crazier things happened in the past. Looking for the shot, big spray battle here from Dupree, but he will eventually find the kill on FNX, and it's on Cold Zera now with the 1v4 on his hands, and more importantly, he's trying to save this op, but he gives it away. Slave spots him midair. As soon as the smoke clears as well, 30 seconds left basically here. And at this point, it's when you just start throwing in the incendiaries. There's so little time left that if they are coming towards this B side, Astralis. You can have the nades in hand. Smoke just clearing now. Debris, that's the timing, and he's roasting alive. Fur chucked as an incendiary, and now it's Astralis just trying to barrel through, but it's not going to happen just yet. They are trading effectively, but the rotation coming through is going to deny it, and it's just going to be Glaive surviving to get onto the site itself with the bomb plant. Yes, but a 1v3 on his hands. Cold FNX and Fallen still alive here for SK Gaming. He's sandwiched in. He has to go active here. He can't just wait. He has to go and find them. Otherwise, they're just going to circle in around him. And I think he knows it. He's walking underneath Fallen, spotting him out. And that's a great kill here. The Brazilian <laughs> distance with the Tech Nine and really run them down. But how do you do that when they're this far back? They're going to allow you to get closer and they'll shoot through the smoke and try and pick you off before it even gets to anything here. So that's the that's the challenge that Astralis are facing right now. They are out and a little bit of a missed shot from Fallen, but he still picks up the kill. And there you see. As they try and come through the smoke, they just get whittled down. No bomb plant either. Kirby drops and nobody dying. Take it to Dust 2, which is the third map in this best of three if necessary. Yeah, and that would be a nightmare, but what an entrance. Taking down one. Taco in so much trouble. He's going to go for the spray, but it doesn't work. And Dupree picks up FNX just as you say it. It doesn't work out. Grenade going to explode Cold Sierra. And now that leaves Fallen 1 versus 4, and he drops the device to 15 here. We have three match and map point here for um, for Astralis. They just need one more round, and they're going to go to the Grand Finals for the first time in a very long time, and especially against a team like SK would be a tremendous performance here. Dupree going to be going down, a refrag from Sipnix. They're going fast and hard out into this bomb side. Again, it hasn't worked so far in this half, but maybe it will this time. Not going to get the shot, and they fall off the train. Fallen, 
Just at the edge of the smoke, he's so clever right now. The flashes are in, but they're flashed on the other side. They can't capitalize on it. He's on the ladder, and he's going to be going down two versus three. And no bomb plan yet. Device will pick up the kill there on Cold Sierra. It leaves FNX and Taco. And Kierby, he's sneaking around the back. This might be this might be the game-winning move. He gets the spray down on Taco, and that leaves FNX 30 health. And in a one-on-two, how does he escape from this high ground position? As soon as they That's find out that he's there, he's trapped. He doesn't. He has to get lucky with the angle, and it's not going to happen, although he does get a, very close to hitting the shot there on Kirby. Just fully commits to taking his step out into the open. Device is going to be able to shoulder peek him to death, however, and there it is, the headshot that does